Sagittarius, welcome to Fantasy Lighthouse. In this reading, we're going to be taking a look at what it is that you need to know. To book a private session, all of that info can be found in the description box of this video. All right, Sag, let's take a look. Spirit, please provide me with messages for Sagittarius. What messages do you have for Sag? What messages do you have for Sag, please? What's going on with Sagittarius? What messages do you have? For Sagittarius. All right. So we have the Seven of Swords energy. You could feel tempted to do something that you know you're not supposed to do. All right. I feel like this could be you giving into temptation in some way. You could be avoiding a situation, trying to get away from it. Tell me more. Talk to me about the Seven of Swords energy for Sag. Why the Seven of Swords? Why do we have the Seven of Swords? There's a third party situation. All right, so this has to do with two other people that you could be dealing with. And I just get this energy of you trying to explore. You're just tired of the norm. You're looking for something else. And I feel like you're going to go and get it. Even if other people don't agree with it, I see you just doing whatever it is that you want to do, Sagittarius. All right, tell me more about the Three of Swords. We have the Hierophant coming out here. Taurus. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Taurus, not all of you. The Hierophant also speaks to higher levels of commitment. So for some of you, and I hate to say this, but I feel like some of you, if you are in an exclusive relationship with someone, you have the desire to cheat. Now, I'm not encouraging that, but I'm just letting you know the energies that are present here. Because the Seven of Swords energy is someone who is really up to no good, you know. Um, with the Three of Swords energy, obviously this has to do with emotion, situations that have to do with the heart. And there's Three Swords, so third party energy, the Hierophant coming out here, speaks to Taurus. However, Taurus is also an indication of being in a contract with someone. So for some of you, you wanna break away from a contract or a contract is ending. Tell me more. Why do we have the Three of Swords energy here for Sag? Why is the Three of Swords energy here for Sag? This is something that you are putting a lot of work into, but you're getting exhausted. And because of that, you feel like you need a break and you're trying to get away from some type of situation or a person. Something is really redundant to you. I feel like you're bored even. Tell me more. Tell me more when it comes to Sag. We have the Eight of Cups energy, so I feel like you wanna walk away from something that's very routine to you right now, all right? I feel like if you are in a relationship with somebody, if you're living with somebody, Sagittarius, I feel like you're not as into that person as you once were, or you're starting to verify that you don't belong there, okay? And it might be a little too late because there's a contract that some of you signed, and so you just can't pull out, right? Now, for those of you who are separated, I feel like you have a past person that you're tempted to go back to, even though you know that you shouldn't, is what I'm getting. And then for those of you who are single, I feel like there's a particular person that you want to talk to, but you're not doing it either. Okay, so there's a lot of restrictions here that I feel you are putting on yourself. Tell me more. Spirit, tell me more. All right, we have the Page of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. So the desire for something new, you're craving to just like explore a new possibility. Tell me more. Talk to me about... Sag, the Nine of Swords energy, something is making you very, very stressed here. 
I feel like you're having trouble sleeping, you're anxious, you worry a lot. You're trying to figure out what you're going to do. You're probably seeking help from other people. You're venting is what I feel, but only to about a few people. Not a lot of people know about this. This is very private. You know, because some of you are in an exclusive relationship and you're verifying that this is not your forever person. Like this is not who you want to wake up every day to for the rest of your life. You're identifying that right now. And some of you stay because it's comfortable, there's security, there's benefits, you know, there's so much that comes with it. But it's not fulfilling, is it, right? And then those of you who are separated, you keep thinking about the past person that you're separated from and you keep telling yourself that you have to move on from that person, but I feel like you're stuck, okay? And then for those of you who are single, I'll say it again, those of you who are single want to find somebody else or you have that particular person who you need to reach out to but there's not enough action on your part Sag so it's like you're the only one that's holding yourself up here it's time to take action now what's the outcome here for Sag the chariot you're going to make a move on somebody because the chariot's present. Tell me more about the chariot. The chariot's clarified by the nine of wands though. So again, there you go again, telling yourself that you can't do what you really desire to do. For some reason, you tell yourself no when the answer should be yes, right? Tell me more. The Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you could be afraid to lose something, which is why you don't want to take action right away. And so you'll risk it, you know. Even if you're unhappy, you'll just stay in that energy for some reason. Tell me more. Tell me more for Sag. The Three of Pentacles. There's people coming together here, Sagittarius. Okay? This is you and whomever it is that you desire to connect with. And the thing is, is if you continue to hide the way that you really feel, people are going to notice it anyways in the future. They're going to find out. People can feel when you're not really into them, you know? People feel how cold you can be because you start to switch up and it becomes obvious, especially with a Sag. If a Sag don't want you no more, trust me, you'll know. Well, that's what I have for you, Sag. To book a private session, all that info is below. Take care.